to evaluate this integral, uh, we try to get rid of this fraction because there is no quotient rule. There is no fraction rule for integral. Okay, since we have only one term on the top, we cannot separate into two. The only way it seems now we have to make a substitution uh, from which we can get rid of the fraction and look at the bottom 1 plus x cubed what is the derivative of 1 plus x cubed that's 3x square uh, which is some constant multiple of the top okay so the derivative of bottom is 3x square we don't have 3 but we can always multiply and divide by a number because 3 3 cancel so we are not we did not change anything so the top 3x square is in fact the derivative of bottom 1 plus x cube derivative of 1 plus x cube is 3x square dx uh, now we can use this formula as you have seen uh, anti-derivative of 1 over u du the derivative of u is 1 with respect to u the anti-derivative of 1 over u du is natural log of absolute u plus c Okay, we have exact same situation with this modification. So one third stays outside. The top is the derivative of bottom. So the anti-derivative of this fraction is natural log of bottom. 1 plus x cubed and plus some constant. Done.